Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we're on board USS Red Oak Victory in Richmond, California. She is a museum ship that is in the process of getting her boilers and turbines running so she can get underway again. But you can still come on board and visit her now. There's a link in the description below for their hours of operation. One of the things that struck me while on board, despite this ship not being a warship, she was designed to be used by the Maritime Administration, the Merchant Marine, and uh, taken over by the Navy during World War II. She's not armored. She's barely armed with defensive armament. Uh, however, she has an equivalent amount of redundancy in her steering as an Iowa-class battleship. So just like an Iowa-class battleship, we've got the main helm here in the pilot house. Just like an Iowa-class battleship, there is an auxiliary helm up above us. On Red Oak Victory, that has been removed right now uh, for restoration work, but it was an open bridge up above where you could see better and you're out in the elements. Then they've got an auxiliary helm back aft and after steering. Uh, so the exact same number of steering positions as an Iowa-class battleship, and that absolutely blows me out of the water that they've got so much redundancy built into this system uh, on, on a ship that is very much designed for different uh, service than an Iowa-class battleship. So our forward two positions were attached via hydraulic connections to the motor below us. Obviously those can be severed in combat, especially given that this ship is unarmored. So you've got the two forward positions. This is your third control position. We are on the after uh, gunnery platform here on Red Oak Victory. And uh, so this gives us an auxiliary place to steer if something happens and knocks out the bridge or the hydraulic lines up here. I'm open air, so I've got a decent view of where I'm going and where other ships are in the formation around me, but I can't see straight ahead. So we've got a uh, telephone here, with, complete with its own bell, uh, so that I can communicate with people up forward who might have a better view. I've got a uh, gyro compass repeater here for the electronic steering, but if you're steering from back here, you might have lost electrical power. So there's also a magnetic compass in a binnacle right here. And uh, from this position, you can take over steering of the ship relatively easily. You just need to call down to after steering. And uh, I'll show you how that works in a second. We'll show you the mechanical connections from here that are much more difficult to sever than the hydraulic lines. One of my favorite things about this is uh, they basically took the aft steering design off of the uh, old four stacker destroyers that I love. And unfortunately, none of those ships were saved as museums, but they also uh, featured on the aft gun deck, their auxiliary steering position, basically directly above their uh, rudder. Now we're one story below that gun position. This is where the naval gun crews would berth uh, that manned that gun position up there. And uh, from here, you can see the mechanical linkage for that helm comes straight down and then ties into a gear that goes outside into the P way and then it goes down again directly into after steering. So you have to physically sever this mechanical linkage to be able to knock that helm out. And even if you do, there are auxiliaries. It's worth pointing out that Red Oak Victory is one of 10 victory ships that was taken over uh, by the Navy as opposed to being used by the Merchant Marine. Uh, and so she would have had an entirely naval crew during World War II, not just a merchant marine crew with a naval crew to man the guns. So that mechanical linkage comes through the bulkhead here, comes down, and when we want to activate it, all the person down here and after steering has to do is unfasten this wing nut and slide this down uh, to latch into it, very similarly to the trick wheels on Battleship New Jersey and after steering. So this presumes that you're running the port side steering motor. And then for a final redundancy in your steering positions, you can manually turn the wheels down here, whether you're on your starboard side or your port side steering motor to steer the ship from after steering. Again, uh, I am blown away by the number of alternative and auxiliary steering positions on a ship like this. Iowa class battleships are built with four and all of them but New Jersey had one deleted throughout their careers. 
battleships are designed to fight and have massive redundancies. And yet, um, we recently saw on Hornet, there's a link to that video in the description down below, and now we're seeing on Red Oak Victory uh, that they have as many as or more than that many uh, redundant steering positions to an Iowa-class battleship. It's worth pointing out that uh, after steering here would be manned during any sort of special sea detail, like going into and out of port, under rifle replenishment, or of course, general quarters scenarios, so that if something happens, they can very rapidly transition and take command or take uh, control of steering from back here or send control to one of the other steering positions. So uh, I'll pose the same question I posed in the Hornet video. Do you think it's because single ruddered ships uh, have less redundancy to begin with that they put a lot of focus in having extra steering positions? Or do you think there's some other reason that these ships that we've seen recently have more auxiliary steering positions than an Iowa-class battleship? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. Consider donating today to the Red Oak Victory here in Richmond, California. There's a link in the description below to their donate button. Your donations help them move the ship closer to being able to operate again under her own power. Uh, that is probably one of the most tangible things that we've ever asked you to donate towards. You can support Battleship New Jersey by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find about us and our channel. Thanks for watching.